Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Virgo, I do want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101. We are going to go back into schedule starting Sunday. I do want to apologize. We've been extremely busy being pulled towards very different directions, but we are finally going back to schedule. So you guys definitely stay tuned. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell so that you guys can get notified of all the videos that are going up. For those of you returning, welcome my lovelies. Let's get into your reading Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month, February 2022. How are you doing my lovely Virgos? How is this Venus retrograde treating you guys? I hope it's treating you well. A lot of people from the past returning, coming out of the woodwork. That's what we're experiencing on my side. <laughs> that and waking up one day and deciding to completely go bald. Yes, that's what's going on on my side. <laughs> it is on in the sign of Capricorn, which is my sign. Some major transformations going on there. Uh, for some of you guys, you may experience... Um, dealing with situations or circumstances that perhaps you were dealing with back in 2013 when we had Venus in the sign of Capricorn. So let's get into your reading, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Archangels. What are the messages that you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is it that they need to know at this present time? What can they expect for this month of February 2022? Also, Virgos, happy Valentine's if you guys celebrate that day. For those of you guys that are in a relationship, for those of you guys that are single, nothing wrong with treating yourself that day, giving yourself much, much self-love, um, treating yourself, getting yourself a nice bottle of wine, good movie, treating yourself. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, Virgos, first card here, general energy is the three of swords. So for some of you guys dealing with past traumatic events, past hurts, past relationships, I've, I keep hearing past, past, past. So for some of you guys, you are dealing with a situation that may resonate to something that you experienced, like I said, back in 2013. Could be the same theme, not necessarily the same person. For others of you, this could be the releasing of hurt, of obstacles, betrayal and trusting in people. For some of you guys, this is a healing opportunity. Keep in mind, Venus in retrograde does push us to take inventory of what it is that we need to feed our love life, right? to feed how we want to be loved, how we need to be loved. Uh, this could be in every single aspect of your life, not just relationships. This could be how you want to feel or how you need to feel appreciated at work to be able to, um, to be able to really push yourself and work and, and do the, to the best of your abilities. Sometimes we need a pat in the back from, you know, superiors, from people that we, Go above and beyond to show that we're, you know, capable, more than capable. So this, for some of you guys, could be a revelation of understanding your nature and understanding what it is that you need to feel loved or to feel appreciated or to feel respected, appreciated. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Cups. If you guys are dealing with a situation when we're talking about love and romance where uh, you're dealing with or feeling like you're dealing with a situation where a third party may be involved, um, you feel like the partner is pulling away or they're a little bit distracted, uh, what Spirit is telling you is, you know, your, your intuition, pay attention to that Virgo because it's right on the money. What they're telling you is do not make excuses for other people's behaviors or for other people's lack of respect towards you. See what I'm saying? There's a theme here. All right, your first card, Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy, Virgo. This is 
knowing what you deserve. This is knowing, you know, the type of loyalty that you provide. Are you getting that in return? And if you're not, you need to take inventory of the people that instead of giving is taking from you. Your next card here is the justice card. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're currently dealing with situations where this has a lot to do not only with karmic cycles, but it has a lot to do with realizing at this point what spirit is telling you is you've matured, you've grown Virgo. And from that maturity and from that growth, in order to step it up, right, in order to level up for you, you need to be more discerning of the people that you allow in your space. This could be colleagues, this could be friends, this could be relationships, this could be people that you're casually dating, that you're giving the, your energy, your effort. What they're telling you here with the justice card is don't hold back if need be. Don't hold back if need be to draw down the sword, to cut those friendships, to cut those relationships that are toxic, that are no longer serving you, that are no longer for your highest good that are distracting you from your goals and aspirations. Your next card here is the Six of Wands. Look at this, Virgo. You're going to a new cycle in your life where success in whatever effort or energy you put towards in any aspect of your life, success is there. You will achieve it. You will attain it. It's about believing in that and believing in yourself. And again, not allowing people to take advantage of your kind heart, Virgo, or the energy of, I'm not a quitter, I'm not going to give up on someone. If that's what you're feeling, if that's what you're going through, if you're debating, I'm sick and tired of feeling left like I was just taken for granted, or I was being left feeling empty-handed. It has nothing to do with other people. You should have learned this by now, Virgo. But what Spirit is telling you is we're giving you the opportunity to realize that and to cut that trait or behavior in you, right? To not want to quit, to not want to give up on people. It's not that you're giving up on them. It's that you need to be more discerning of your energy, Virgo. The next card is the Page of Swords. Cutting the bullshit, cutting the people that are not genuine or authentic to you. This can also be communication, hearing about people surrounding you or people that you confided in or people that you've trusted. I keep hearing revelations. So for some of you guys, there's going to be revelations unfolding in this month. Your next card here is the high priest. All right. So we have the Justice and the High Priest here, two major arcanas. This is major transformations. This is something that is necessary and that it's needed for you to, like I said, level up, to go to the next level in your life, to step it up, to push yourself, to really allow yourself to grow. Because this is about growth. You are coming up as your energy, Virgo. This is powerful. This is, you have it in you. Justice card is knowing what you deserve and not and like not being not making excuses for how other people are treating you because it has more to do with what you allow. Boundaries for some of you guys is necessary to put boundaries on other people. Six of Wands is victory. It's receiving accolades. It's it's receiving for some of you guys. It could even be that your reputation or people knowing about you is going to be very heightened in this month. The high priest is that of gathering or receiving higher calling, higher knowledge. For some of you guys, it could be that you're being offered opportunities that you never thought were there or you never thought would be possible. For some of you guys, it could be that um, in your job or in your career, there is an offering of some type of training that is going to help you elevate yourself. Take it, Virgo. Do what you have to do to succeed. There is a need for you to be aggressive this month. This is in relationships. This is in 
finances and career with family members. This is about being unapologetic. This is about speaking your truth, speaking your mind. This is about holding yourself because you got to understand sometimes Virgos have a tendency of, you know, putting people on pedestals. You know, it, it is the sign of servitude. So when they're giving us this, you know, oh, I need you, Virgo. Oh, you know, it's so difficult right now. You're trying to, you know, be there for them, be the mother, be the father figure, because you're trying to serve them the best you can. But with this brings leeches. It brings people that are not worthy of that that are not worthy of your energy, of your effort, of your kindness. So for the month of February, it's going to be crucial to be aggressive in the sense of there's a difference between aggressive and being mean-spirited. I'm not saying be mean-spirited. I'm saying be aggressive in speaking up for yourself. Be aggressive in demanding what it is that you expect from people or from connections. It is about being unapologetic and being true to yourself this month of February, Virgo. It's going to be very important because it's going to bring you to you a lot of opportunities. Success is here. But what they're telling you is that within that, and it's almost kind of like foreseeing what is unfolding for you in the future. Yes, you may have success and get to higher levels of growth that you've never experienced before. But if where you're at right now, you're not able to put boundaries with people. Could you imagine when you are successful, when you're extremely stable, when you have, you know, your finances are doing good, when you start to materialize all your goals and aspirations, people are going to be feeding off of you and sucking you dry. So what they're telling you is be prepared for that. And it's time for you to start doing that now. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.